debutante party. Uh-huh. Well, let's go who, to the ball. Who's the debutante? What? Who is the debutante? Oh, the people in the back. <laughs> Miss Carol and Miss Maureen, they're, they're I, coming out. They're a little old to be coming out, aren't well, they? Well, don't tell them. <laughs> I, I saw of it. coming out of the little room down the hall a few it. minutes ago. Uh -huh. I don't want that. It's back there pounding on the walls. Yeah, just because the their control teeth are room, now two feet long. <laughs> the control room to this studio is directly behind this fake, I mean, this marvelous uh, yeah, if you, uh, stuff. If, if you, you look, look in here, you can see, see Carol's face. Here she is. <laughs> oh, anyway, me. it's true. They are back there. Sometimes we can hear them, can't we? Mm -hmm. Whispering and giggling yeah. and saying, Terrible things. And today on our show, we're going to have the death of the chef as I die from a bad cold. Too. Oh, I just feel That's awful. That's where it goes. Well, this is show business. You're not oh, supposed to talk about bad things. Thanks, but send your get well in cards in. To be uplifted, not to get a cold. I don't think I can pick you up again. You picked up a few pounds. <laughs> <laughs> I have gotten a little beefy, haven't I? Yeah, well, what are you making today? Greek mushroom salad. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's, it's wonderful. Yeah. It is. It's, it's a good salad. Buy gum, and it, and it requires a little cooking and uh, skinning some tomato. Why would you skin tomatoes for a salad? So that you don't have the, the tough skins on it. Because as you get old and you have to gum that salad, those skins are real hard to digest. <laughs> well, I hate to tell you this, old timer, but you're going to have to gum it today because I'm not going to skin this. Well, stuff. you worthless cur. I'm not. I'm just going to do it my way. You can do this either way you want to, so be careful. I'll let you start out and well, then I'm, I'm, I'll do <clears> my thing. You, you want to know what I'm doing? No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing a. It's called a coming out salad. It's a crab salad and <laughs> avocado. Well, that's what a debutante that's is. The dumbest a debutante. name for a salad I well, ever Well, I had to name it life. something. All right, and this is a pain, too, boys and girls. Here, Johnson, put a cork in it. Well, I mean, now you, oh, give us a break. I'm sorry. I'm, I have a little cork. wine today. Yeah, a little bubbly, and you'll more note, than. I want you all to watch this. You will note that this is filled right up to the top. With we distilled have, water from back in engineering. We have not taken nary a sip out of it. So there and you go. I have no intention of doing it. All right, let me show you how to get started with this thing. We're going to have to peel four avocados eventually, and I'll do that during part of blind stuff. Never be able to but say But this that is again. a mayonnaise based kind of thing, and you have to do it the hard way with an egg yolk. So let me just start this because I have to bang this thing around for a long time, and then we'll go over to you. Oh, no. Oh, nuts. I just forgot something. I didn't know it called for nuts. What's wrong? I what forgot happened? I had to separate the egg. Oh, the and you've yolk. got a piece of it in there, too. Uh, oh. All right. Now, there's the yolk. Those eggs should have been separated at birth. Oh. Oh. And to that, I'm going to add two teaspoons of mustard. And this is a good Dijon Ooh, mustard. it does look like that expensive stuff. One. I'm cleaning carrots two. while you're doing that, if anybody cares to know. And I gotta have two teaspoons of red wine vinegar. Vinegar. So I'm gonna, here's one, there's two. Well, I wish I could. Oh well. Now, and I have to whip those half to death. So let me start doing that now while Bly plays around over there. Well, I'm diddling around with these carrots here. I got uh, two of them. And what you need to do is sort of chop them and cube them a little bit. And that's what we're going to do. You don't want real big pieces. We're going to saute them in a couple of minutes in some fine olive oil uh, along with uh, some a oh, little bit of bay leaf and this and that. We'll stick this stuff on the stove and heat it up a little bit. This salad can be served hot or cold. That's the wonderful thing about it. Laban, I hate to mention the word cold because <laughs> he's not feeling so good today, but it can be served hot or cold. So just chop up some of these things. You may want to quarter them, something like that. And I'm going to be doing that for a couple of minutes while he's over there doing whatever it is he's doing. Well, I added to this a half a teaspoon of vegetable oil. Is this a half a cup, Doris? Yeah. Okay. Doris yeah. says it is. Yeah, says that, yeah, I put in, what did I, yeah, I added a half a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. And, uh, 
I think Doris is having a good time over here. Now this is going to be real hard to do because this is a right-handed measuring cup. And I've got to pour this in here just little by little. A right-handed measuring cup. <laughs> I, I fell for it there for a couple of minutes. Well, it is because, see, it pours funny. Does and it the, pour funny or I'm do you I'm making pour an funny? emulsion, folks. So a what? An emulsion. We have intelligent viewers that have been to college and know what that means. Mm -hmm. And so you have to just put a little oil in at the time, drop by drop, so that it will emulsify with the egg yolk. <laughs> oh, this just goes on and on. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And on and on and on well, and I don't, on. You know, you could have used the uh, food processor. We have yet to use that. Oh, I, you know, I keep forgetting that we have all these fine inventions that have been brought down to us here at the TV station. So, yes, you're right. I'm doing this the long, hard way. You really can save an awful lot of time by just throwing it in there, hitting the on button, getting on with well, it. Well, this is working, but it sure is. Well, it just looks like the top of your head. Well, I can't. <laughs> now, there it is, folks. Well, isn't that just real creamy looking? It did emulsify. Now, I got to add just a little more oil to it because that cup is really for a, whew, a dry measure. Oh, look, it, it did emulsify this beautifully. I can't believe it. Whoa, Nelly. Now I have I to add a insurance. big dollop of chili sauce. So oh, no. We've got another one of these bottles, Bly. A big. Here, 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 here. I got a rubber got thing. A... Oh, well, I'm I so guess glad. You want it. Uh uh. You know, these things help you. And now, look, it's a Blue Ridge. Well, oh, this one is This is little... about a tablespoon of chili sauce. You know, going. I wish I'd have known you, you, you needed that because last year I had a recipe here on the Cook and Cheap set that required some of that stuff. I'd never heard of it. Went out and bought a whole bottle of it and it's taking up room in my refrigerator right now. If I'd have known you needed it, I'd have given it to you. Call me next time, mm. will you? All right, now to this I need to add a quarter of a cup. Oh, boy, that's tart. Of scallions, green onions that are chopped, including some of the green parts. So let me... Uh, I'm chopping chop onions, the oil. by the way. Oh, well, good. I'm so glad. It's such an unexciting and uneventful thing, and most people complain to me bitterly all the time about how much time we spend on the show chopping onions. They say, can't you chop those before you go on? So I'm going to try and chop these while he's doing something else so you won't have to go through the misery of it. Well, you know, I just think it's... Well, it's, it's a part tacky, of preparing food. You know, it's part of the whole thing. And these chefs, you know, when they come on some of these other stations and, and other networks and they get out there and they just play around with the stuff and, and everything's in little glass Pyrex things, fooey on that stuff. All right, what I'm going to do right now over here is I'm going to turn on the eye, poof, and I am going to heat up some fine extra virgin olive oil, just a little bit of it, not a lot. You don't need. Well, a lot. I'm glad we're using that kind of oil here on what virgin? today's show. Yeah. Uh huh. And so Being we're going to heat that up. Party and everything. And what we will do is we will saute two carrots and one whole chopped onion, and we're going to saute that until they just get a little bit glassy looking. And that's what we're going to do. Then we're going to add a whole bunch of secret things to our recipe here in a couple of minutes. All right, Johnson. All right. Well, I am now chopping these green onions so that I've got a quarter of a cup that have been, you know, really finely chopped. And again, this would be an ideal thing for your food processor if you have one. And since they've come down in price so much, you can get a respectable one without spending a lot of money on it. That's enough of the green onions to go in there. And we'll just, goodbye. 
And let's see, what else have I got? Oh, I got to hand some, some chopped olives. And these, these babies have already been previously chopped. So let me just, that ought to be about four. You save money on them too by buying them that way. Mm-hmm. They're a little cheaper sometimes. Now, let me... All right, now this is our crab sauce here. Yeah. For all you saucy crabs out there. Do you know anybody who actually did have a debutante coming out party? I uh -huh. mean, I'm from the country. You know, I'm just an old farm boy. Usually they moan when I say that. And up where I come from, they didn't have debutante parties. They couldn't afford such oh, luxuries no. of life. Are you kidding? No, but no, no really. I, I've never I, been to one I do life. know a few. Uh, do you have any uh, salt and pepper over there? No, but I can make arrangements to get you some right now oh, while I'm good. sauteing that. You may want to look at this real pretty. I'm sauteing the carrots and, and the onions on top of the stove until they get real glassy. A little olive oil. Ooh, that smells good. Yes, it does, Mom and Dad. Sister, too. Uncles and aunts. Wow. Well, there's the salt. All right. The pepper's on the other side. Now I'm just going to just me. put just a little tad of salt. Hey, yeah, is that Tom? Always, Tom ought to be on the show. He knows where everything is. Oh, uh, and here's some I keep pepper. stepping on this mic thing, and I almost killed myself that time. <sighs> What'd you just add? Salt and pepper? Salt and pepper. Ooh, that looks good, Laban. All right. Let me stick my finger in it and see if it's good. Mmm. Oh, I love it. It is that good. That really mm -hmm. is marvelous. Tasty. Mmm. Now, anticipation of what I got to do next here while I'm sauteing this around a little bit. It doesn't have to go very long. I've got to take one rather sizable garlic and I'm going to smash it with my fist. I'm always afraid. There we go. See? That's what you need to do. We're going to throw that in there in a couple of minutes along with some other secret ingredients. Well, I guess I could just cut them in half, but I was thinking I would go ahead and peel them. What do oh, you think? Terribly embarrassing. <laughs> Laban is receiving instructions from the side. <laughs> well, I didn't want to say anything, but I thought perhaps you ought to be doing something. No, anyway. Well, you're probably right. Where is that knife? Well, I'll give them this little hint, as long as you're doing it, what you're doing now. Well, I'm just going to peel these. I mean, slime. I'll show you a good way to get that seed out of there if you want me to. I'm a real expert on these things. I'm going to take these seeds home and, and uh, it's real hard. You mean just this? Well, yeah, that's. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what I always do? I always twist them. Sometimes uh -huh, they do yeah. stay in and you have, to, yes. you have a little problem getting it out of the other side. I'm not quite as dumb as you thought I was one time, Juanita. So anyway, so if you have problems getting it out, you do it with a twisting motion. Poof, comes right out. I'm getting ready to add some wine, and you know, I've never been too careful about this, about three quarters of a cup. And a bay leaf, Gonna put a bay leaf in there. This ought to be tasty. This really should be real tasty. One whole bay leaf. I can't get it out. Two whole bay leaves. They're kind of small and piddly. Work it down in there. We need to get that flavor in there. There we go. Oh, and at this point now, you want to put in your garlic, squished up garlic. See, that's what separates us from other cook shows on TV. You'd never hear one of those high priced cooks, chefs say squished up garlic. How many times you ever heard them use that term? Squished up garlic. What else? A little salt and pepper? I'm going to add some salt and pepper. You never get too much pepper, but you can get too much salt. Remember that when your heart gives out on you. A little bit. There we go. And what else? Mushrooms, I guess, go in at this point. I'm going to work on those right now. I'll work on those right now. I've got a couple more things that have to go in I here. I got avocado juice all over my hands. Ugh. I guess it's good for you, though. It's probably got some kind of you know, restoring cream in it. 
a vegetable version of whatever that stuff is, Retin-A. Now I'm going to add to that uh, my crab. So oh, I if you see will why. Excuse me, I'm going over to the refrigerator to get my crab. I have just figured out why you have to take the skins off these things. That I have only just now discovered it. Why? Because you chop these up and you add these onto the heat at the last oh. minute, which means that all of the outside of the skin is going to be falling off by the time you get in the plates. Well, you just have to pick them out today. I'd tell you what I would suggest if I were you. You may want to heat right. You may want to heat some water up and dip them in so you can quickly get the outside off. And then you can chop them up and get the seeds. I got to get the seeds out first. And if you've never seen us do this, it's it's a real delicate operation. Oh! <laughs> it's the only way, it's the fastest way we know to get seeds out of a tomato. You'll have to admit it's very clever. Just cut them right in half this way. <laughs> you wanna watch that in slow-mo now. Oh, there we go. And, and we'll be chopping these up and adding them to the mixture here in just a little bit. But it really does, it works very effectively. Mr. Johnson taught me that. Mr. Johnson taught me that. So anyway. <laughs> I'm sorry, somebody's gotta be silly. You know, Laban's not feeling too good today and I have to carry the show. I'm telling you, and I felt even worse <laughs> since we started this turkey today. I'm tearing up Sarumi while he's over there playing Beg your with the pardon? tomatoes. <laughs> well, I'm using this fake crab. Tearing up Sarumi. <laughs> well, you know her. She was a good woman. <laughs> Uh, oh heavens, this, this stuff is, is going down too fast. The gotta... fake uh, crab that we're using, you could use real crab if you wanted to, but I, this stuff is okay for me. Now here's what we do, you take your button, <laughs> your, I beg your pardon. You take the, the, your, your little button uh, mushrooms and stick them in there now, we'll start heating those up. I should have drained them first, let me run back here and drain my mushrooms a little bit. Leave a little of the juice in, it won't kill anybody won't hurt. Put those button mushrooms in there. You're supposed to have a lot more than that, but I'm making a reduced version of this for the program, being as how I don't want to have 20 pounds of it to contend with after the show. So, now everything's in there. Your wine, your olive oil, your garlic, your bay leaf. Now we will chop up our tomatoes, which should have been skinned, but it's too late now, <laughs> baby. So anyway, I gotta chop those up. They're supposed to be quartered, in two quarters, half, quarter, quarter. All right, just chop those into quarters. And it is very important, as I have just told you, to take the skins off. Do not do it this way. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll throw them in there and remove the skins with my fingers in a couple of minutes. What? Mm. She's shaking her head no. <laughs> it's, it's. It, Oh, well, yeah, but it's still going to come, there's still tomato stuff's going to come off. You remove it from the heat first, so you might be able to get by with it. Thank you, Doris. And <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> Good luck and get out. Okay. So I'm about <laughs> She said she'd take her knives. I'm in big trouble. Now, I don't want you to get out just yet. <laughs> Hang in there a little bit. Oh me, and now we, you'll notice I also have some fresh parsley, and by the way, for you fanatics out there, I will wash that before we do anything with it. The only thing you're gonna use it for is, is just a little garnish. But uh, somebody gets onto me every time because I don't wash it properly, and I have not done so with this, but I will in a couple of minutes because I knew I'd need to fill 15 minutes today. <laughs> <laughs> How you coming, Laban? Well, I've got my crab down. In, I, now, I took out half the sauce uh -huh. and put it in another bowl because I'm going to use it later on. And now I'm tossing my one pound of crab uh, in the remaining part of the sauce that we just made. Woo, that smells good. Oh, if I must say so, and I must. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is going to be a wonderful salad. So is this one. Now, now y'all pardon me while I go wash my parsley. While he's doing that, I'm going to put some of this crab into the... Have you got any soap? The center. Uh, I think we got some lye soap in the back that belonged to the cook system. I believe in washing it right. And you just put some of this uh, crab in the, where the pit was. 
All of our viewers in the South know what the pit is when they go to Talladega and Daytona. I didn't use any of this stuff. Aren't you proud of me? People here at the station are so thrilled, I've only dirtied up one, two things to do this whole meal. That's how they judge whether it's a good meal down here or not. You only, you only dirty one pan, it's a great meal. Anything more than that, you're in big trouble, Buster. All right, now what we gotta do is we gotta take these bay leaves out of there. Take them out, take your heat and turn it off. I'm gonna remove it from the heat and at the last possible minute, we will add our tomatoes. Where's that second leaf? Someone's gonna get that thing. And okay. you know that's terrible when that happens. The oh. voice of doom over here in the back is saying recipes, recipes. Recipes, recipes, you gotta we show know the recipes. We know. That's what you're here for. I know you guys are a little new at this. Never been here before, hadn't done the show, but for 10 years. Well, folks, I have lost, I have lost the second. That's why you only put one big one in there. <laughs> I can't find it. Oh, it doesn't matter. Bay leaf never killed anybody. Now that you've removed that from the heat, you will now add your tomatoes. Am I correct on this uh -huh. now? Smack me if I'm not. And you will toss this and then chop up on the side your parsley, which you're going to use for just a little garnish. Okay, Johnson. All right, now I'm taking the reserve sauce and I'm going to just pour a little over the top of each one of these avocados and just to garnish this with. Oh, this is just gorgeous. Hmm? Yeah, that'd be nice. Yeah. Ooh, this is a pretty mm -hmm. salad and it smells so good. Mm -hmm. This one Mama. is the same way. Oh. Are we gonna show oh isn't that beautiful? Yeah, though? I guess we need to go to the receipts. Oh my oh I found that leaf. <laughs> go ahead. Oh I know we're all relieved. Uh-huh. Oh. They're coming out salad. One egg yolk, <laughs> two teaspoons of prepared imported mustard, a half a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce, two teaspoons of red wine vinegar, a half a cup of peanut oil or vegetable oil or corn oil or one of those. A tablespoon of chili sauce, a quarter cup of finely chopped scallions, four large stuffed green olives, chopped salt and pepper, one pound of fake crab, four ripe avocados, lettuce leaves, which I didn't use because they're too hard to find, and two hard cooked eggs to garnish them with. The Greek mushroom salad, uh, an onion chopped, two carrots, a quarter cup of olive oil, two thirds cup of dry, dry wine, 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 bay leaf, clove, garlic, crushed salt, pepper, salt and pepper. Three cups of button mushrooms, half pound tomatoes peeled, chopped parsley to garnish. I am now garnishing. I want you to see this. This is pretty. It really is a pretty salad. And I think it's going to be real tasty. There's no, no argument about that. I mean, there's nothing in there that's bad for you. It's real good. Well, we, I, is the witch coming in today? Yeah, she's, she's Bring here. that witch in. Oh, no. I don't, where she is, here she comes. Here she comes, here she comes. Can you read it while I'm trying to garnish these things? For Come out, baby. Oh, this will never work. This is going to be awful. Dear boys, I'm pregnant. What are you going to do okay. about it? Lucy Fogbottom, Washington, D.C. What does it mean, lady? Well, next week we're going to do a baby shower. I figured that was the a least we could do. A baby shower next week. Okay. For All Lucy. Right. Well, that's Well, good. you were supposed to garnish these things, if you could, with, with a... Ah! I just had a hard time. <laughs> it looks like a chicken that had an accident on top of it. Well, that's the way it goes. What can you do? Well, let's go over here and chomp down on it. <laughs> Excuse me. Sometimes you have to kick it. Laban, those are beautiful. Yes, Larry, they are. I can hardly wait to get my chops into one with all that fake fish in it and everything. Sarumi, please. Sarumi. Sarumi. And so I'm going to just get right into this because it does look well, good. Well, don't wait up, Laban. Well, I won't. <laughs> well, give me your, well, here, mm, let me give mm, you this. Mm, so you give mm. that salad to try while you're at it. Time I get it all out in the dish, he'll have eaten and gone home. Mm, mm. Is it all right? You know, I think all, the only thing I would do to improve it is peel the tomatoes. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that is a good salad. It's a nice hot salad. Serve it cold too. Let me try some of this because they're saying I gotta go home. Mmm, that's wonderful. Goodbye.